What's the most satisfying gotcha moment you've experienced? My chemistry teacher, Mr. Dawes, would dock points for bathroom breaks during his 50-minute labs. Said it was teaching responsibility. Kids were literally holding it until they got UTIs. The policy started small. First, it was just no bathroom breaks during experiments. Then, it expanded to the entire class period. Dawes claimed students were using restroom trips to cheat or waste time. Sarah was the first casualty. She asked to use the bathroom during a titration lab, and Dawes marked her down five points. She ended up wetting herself at her lab station and had to call her mom to bring new clothes. Word spread fast. Parents started complaining to the school, but had been there for 15 years and administration always backed him up. He'd cite classroom management and point to his AP chemistry test scores as proof his methods worked. The breaking point came when my friend Jake, who's diabetic, had to check his blood sugar, but Dawes refused to let him leave. Jake nearly passed out at his lab station before another teacher intervened. I watched Jake's hands shake as the school nurse checked his blood sugar in the hallway. It had dropped dangerously low. If he'd waited another 10 minutes for class to end, he could have been in real trouble. That night, I called Jake's mom to make sure he was okay. She was furious. I spent two hours digging through our student handbook online. Most of it was boring stuff about dress codes and tardiness policies. Then I found section 4.2 under health guidelines. The language was crystal clear. Teachers cannot deny medical-related bathroom requests under any circumstances. Violation could result in disciplinary action and potentially cost the school its accreditation if reported to the state. Wanted to handle this my way first. I printed 200 copies of that exact page and highlighted the relevant section in bright yellow. The plan was simple, but needed perfect timing. I recruited my lab partner, Emma, to help distribute the pages. We arrived at school 30 minutes early and slipped copies under every classroom door in the science wing. Then we hit the main hallways and stuffed them into lockers through the vents. First period was Dawes's AP chemistry class. I sat in my usual spot and waited. About 20 minutes into his lecture on molecular bonds, I stood up and raised my hand. Mr. Dawes, I need to use the restroom for a medical reason. He didn't even look up from the whiteboard. Absolutely not. You should have gone before class started. Perfect. I pulled out the handbook page. According to section 4 of the student handbook, you're required to allow medical-related bathroom requests. Dawes slowly turned around. Excuse me? That's when the magic happened. Emma pulled out her copy, then Amy. Within seconds, half the class was holding up the same highlighted page. Where did you get those? Dawes's voice cracked slightly. The student handbook that every family receives, I replied calmly. The same handbook you're supposed to follow. Sit down, all of you. We'll discuss this after class. But I was already walking toward the door. Actually, section 4.2 says the request must be honored immediately. That's when Dawes snapped. He pointed at the door and shouted for me to get out. His face was purple now, veins bulging in his forehead. I gathered my backpack and headed for the principal's office. Principal Rogers was already waiting when I arrived. I handed Rogers my copy of the handbook page. This is accurate, he admitted, but your method of addressing it was inappropriate. Before he could continue, Jake's mom walked in with a folder full of documents. She'd been building her case for weeks and had contacted the state education department about potential violations. Dawes got written up by administration and his bathroom policy was banned school-wide.